Jesus mighty name. Hey. Sit on fire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be the exalted, be the glorified. Everything you said you saw, say it again. The people will say it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. The book of Jude, chapter 1, 24 to 25. Thank you. Thank you. Now unto him that is able to keep you. <laughs> I have a... Anytime I read this place, I feel special way that I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. I am in a good environment. And unto him who is able to keep me. Why should I worry? Why should I have anxieties? Why should I be troubled? Why should I be part of when I hear news in different places? The Bible says the kind of person I'm serving is able to keep me from falling. Including physically. Ha, that's why you know nobody can faint. <laughs> I mean physically now. Nobody can just faint. He's able to keep you. Do you know he's giving you, giving a charge concerning you to angels. So that he won't dash your feet against the stone. To hold you. That's why you cannot fall. Do you know angels are, 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 that are encamped around you? As you move, they move with you. Like an entourage. Like a convoy. And then how can you fall? How possible can you fall? An angel move at the speed of lights. <laughs> Before you can even point every head, they're holding you. So, spiritually and physically, Bible says it's able to keep you from falling. Please don't forget the scripture. Ever in your life. If they give you any news, I saw you faint, they say, sorry. The one I saw is able to keep me. <laughs> Somebody had a dream and said, I saw you fainting. I told the person, go and tell the person, he's able to keep you. How am I complicated? <laughs> That's scripture. Give me the scripture again. Let me finish it up. It's just loaded. It's loaded. Give, but give me the same scripture again. Let me just finish it up. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. We are going somewhere. <laughs> that after he has kept us here on earth from falling physically and falling spiritually, he will then present us faultless at the glory. That's what my topic tonight is called glorification. Glorification. <laughs> I have to let you know that before you are presented faultless with exceeding joy, that's why you know where we are going is full of celebration. <laughs> Am I? Celebration galore. You know what they call it to carry wine? That's where we are going. See that? Exceeding joy. You no know happy when happy when I carry wine, you know. <laughs> Praise God, you know. The English version of it is what we call reception. Amen. What we call reception, we call it as the English version of it, reception. You know, marriage and reception. But the traditional is called to carry wine. Yeah, one carry, one carry. <laughs> so yeah, that's why they say exceeding joy. <laughs> so we are going to a place of gloominess, a place of joyfulness, everyone, music everywhere. And before you get there, I will say he's able to keep you from falling. So as you go through, as you go through sanctification process, it keeps you. I will say, this is confident I have that he that called me is able to keep me. Till the day of glorification. <laughs> I don't know why people are not born again. I don't know why. Those who are not born again, take it off right now. Thank you. I don't, I don't just know why. Praise God. You know, over time I say, what is going on? Why would not born again? You will start to gain more than losing. We're not even losing. You start to gain more. <laughs> we keep you, protect you, guide you, and make present to faultless at the day where there will be exceeding joy. Then what do you stand to lose? Praise God. The devil is wicked though. Very, very wicked. When I think of this, I remember the devil is very wicked. 
Bible says blind their eyes, not to see. They blind them. Some of you blind their minds, not to see. Because they see it, they will run. So use things to cover their eyes, cover their mind. So just be full, going with him like a, like a, like a rago, like a goat. Praise God. Ha! For the fact that you are here serving God, count yourself, count yourself so, 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 I don't want to use that word lucky. Blessed. Okay, that's a better word. Blessed. Luck wanted to come to a matter. I said to Fiakwa, we are blessed, not lucky. <laughs> Heavily blessed. Amen. Aren't you blessed to be in his presence? Including your fasting, he's able to, he's only keeping you. This will tell you practically how he keeps us. How can, do you know up to date, as a, somebody, a friend I have, where, a friend, where I go there, not that a friend, but I go there, we talk, that kind of thing. When I tell you, we, 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 I didn't come because we had three day drive fast. They say, I've been going to come out three days. How can a human being fast for three days? How, how is it possible? How is it possible on this earth? The one, the one I told me seven days, he said, eh, I bet. No, no, don't, don't, just come on, don't say that again. <laughs> so three days, he sits frugally down. I told him seven days, he's, in fact, he didn't even listen to me. <laughs> he was doing something else. <laughs> Praise God. You know, when we were back there, <laughs> somebody said that you were you were eating, say you are fasting. <laughs> you know, somebody said that I don't want to mention the business name. <laughs> he said, he said we, we said we are doing three days. I mean, we are going to eat. See how this we are just like we are just lying. Praise God. But to you, it's not a mystery. To them, it's a mystery. That's why he did things. That's why we call, what's called by the fellowship of his mystery. So we are fellowship with mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fellowship with it. They can't understand mysteries. So they cannot fellowship with it. It's when you understand mystery, you have fellowship with it. That tells us very clearly that there are, there are things that remain mystery to people, people in this world. And they fall prey to it because they don't understand it. They've not experienced it. It's not experiential. Am I communicating? So it tells you clearly that in this world we are in, that so many things are still mysterious in the eyes of many. Why some few people do oligarchies? Let me use that word, spiritual oligarchies. <laughs> they are basking in some mysteries. Bible calls it fellowship with mysteries. So, why are fellowship with mysteries? Some are fellowship with something else. I don't want to use that bad, 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 bad thing for them. Am I communicating? Until they are able to, to get their eyes open by reason of light. So, for you to be able to do it, it means light are falling on you. Lights, your eyes are open. To understand that he's the one to keep us. He's the one keeping us. Now we can just go fast like so. I see we are going to your backyard. <laughs> he says it's not easy. <laughs> of course, that's why that's why it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Praise God. Is it me vice I said, I'm feeling hungry already. But for him to be able to keep me, it's it, it must be God. It must be God. Praise God. Before I started doing this, I, I was not fasting more than three. Okay, I was doing two to six. That one was there. Uh, even the time I, this God is too much. The many, the many, the many years ago when I had a special encounter with the power, the, the ministry of the Holy Spirit, my fasting was six to six. I couldn't go beyond that. <laughs> Yet he had mercy on me. Praise God. Talk more when you go beyond. Far beyond. That means mercy will be bracketed. His mercy shall be bracketed for you. In Jesus' precious name. I'm not talking much because this topic is so vast. So I just took you so by 10 o'clock we are done. We can break the fast. Amen. Are you ready to break your fast? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, let me quickly hit it on the hair so we can um, our time is really wrapped, you know, wrapping up. You see, I presented three kinds of wedding. So two already. Um, yeah, uh, that description is, is, is I told you it's betrothal or exposal. So, and because price is involved, was involved or is involved, which is the blood of Jesus, that means marriage has taken place. Amen? So, and yesterday I talked about the next stage, which is the touch parade, or, you know, they call it touch parade, where the maidens and the bride are prepared, and the bridegroom and his people are prepared for them to jam. And where are they meeting? They're going to meet Bible calls it rapture when those of us here in Christ we meet up with him in the heavenlies. So, and then I told us that a, 
the, the parable of the ten virgins typifies that. Shows us the preparation of the church as we head towards meeting him. Meeting our lamb. The lamb. The, the word called rapture. And not many days from there, or from the same day, I don't know how God will do it, there will be another one again, which is a supper. Supper. So we are right now in certifying, certification period, preparing for that rapture to meet with the, with the, with the lamb, with the lamb. And after then, there will be supper. That's why it's called supper. Supper means it's supper, food. Amen? Food, in case you don't know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's something Jesus told them, and I know many of them did not get it. He said, What I'm drinking now, I won't drink it again. See, I drink it then. The wine I'm drinking now, I won't drink it again. Till then. People do understand it. That means I will be carrying wine. There'll be carrying of wine those days. And that day is in so much, that is supper of the lamp. The marriage supper of the lamp. When he said it, people don't understand what he was saying. That means that it's coming a time of glorification. When the church will be glorified with the master. And that will be celebration galore. Drinking, drinking, eating in his presence. I'm not talking about Akko, Akko and uh, uh, no, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you will drinking divine. Why not divine? Amen. And be enjoying, just be enjoying galore. Anyway, the, 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 the the state. Now, I thought you see, this, this God is too much. Everything God wants to do with the church with our time, He gives us an expression, an illustration. He brings up a parable. He brings up a story, something in the scripture to give us a foretaste of what's about to happen. And the good thing He did, the marriage at Cana was the next phase of this marriage, of this whole episode, the third phase. Jesus presented marriage at Cana to tell us, just as presented the ten virgins as a word preparation to the lamb, the next one is the marriage of Cana. So, um, you see, scripture is full of life. Every eternal purpose is that God wants to show or about to show, he gives us a story or a parable to open our eyes to know what we're going to expect. It is written by, by tradition that when during the marriage, such marriage, which is carrying wine, what happened? Jesus was carrying wine. Everything has been done. The exchange of sin has been done. This is just a time of coming to celebrate. Praise God. That's where wine, why, why, that's why wine was involved. And then the culture has it that they spent seven days doing that. Seven days carrying wine. Not the way you do. No, to this they would do it for three hours. Our God. But the reception takes place for seven days. That's why you notice that their wine got finished. How can a man present wine for seven days? <laughs> and at this point, we are just average people. You know, the family of Jesus, we are associated, that's what the, the theologians are, are saying, that this family is associated with this family that is a wedding. That's an association between them. That was how the family of Jesus went there. Jesus went there with him. And that's why it was in Ukuben in the heart of Mary to ask the son because she knows the son. <laughs> you cannot handle me record without knowing. She knows the son. You know, so this woman, this man is not ordinary. So I've been with him for 30 years. It's not ordinary. And that was well like about a month when he started like calling his disciples to himself, about a month thereabout, when he calls some disciples. He had not even performed miracle yet. I got the account of John. Miracle was not yet performed. It was just about a month thereabout that he called his disciples. Some of them, not even all, some of them to himself. Preparing for his public ministry. That's why he said his time has not come. But Mary, knowing the son, <laughs> that what happened in the cocoon, in the enclave of the house, she knows. <laughs> Am I communicating? She knows that this one is not ordinary. <laughs> you know, that's what he tells someone, whatever he tells you, do it. Oh. Ah, this one, eh? I know him oh, 30 years. It's not 30 days. I've stayed with him. If he tells you something, do it. <laughs> so confident. The one was confident. This him, I'm going to tell him, I'm going to beg him to do something. But as soon as I beg him, if you do shakara small, but if he changes, I tell you to do something, go and do it. Just obey. It's good to know the Lord. Mary was so intimate with the son. She knew the son. The Bible says she pondered everything out. She knew the son. That's part of the troubles. She knew the miraculous part of the son. 
and she confidently told them, do whatever it tells you. If this one finishes, to be a shame to my family. And Jesus, knowing that, he said, okay, no problem. Go and feed the pots with the water. Water? Well, someone have said something about it in the past. Someone gladly did that. Behold, it turned into wine. The beauty is that the wine, it was turned to wine and it, those days, you know, people, you don't reserve the best wine to the end. You, people drink the best and leave the sour one to the, towards the end so that and people come and go. The first people that come the first day, privileged to come the first day, we drink the good wine and go home intoxicated. Praise God. So, the so second day, third day, towards the end of the of the, of the of the period, seven days, then the bad one that came in, we drink the bad one. So, it shocked them that the best of wine was reserved to the end. And that tells us something. That the best of what they're looking for, the exceeding joy is at the end. A Michael is at the end. It's only for those who could endure. That's why those who left the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, they could not endure. Bible is too much. Bible, the word of God is just too much. Just too much. Every mystery you want to know about the kingdom is there. How come some left before then, before the end? It typifies our situation on the as you go to sanctification, sanctification period. Some are going to drop. Some, some, will, some will go under weariness and fatigue. Some will go under the pressing of this world. And disappear. So we go buying and selling. Only those who endure to the last day of the wine will taste of the goodness of the Lord. Shaka <laughs> How come you reserve this to the end? How come? What is going on here? The, the governors, people do not believe it. Because it's not, it's not a culture, it's not a custom for the best to be reserved. That's why people rush to wedding. The first day, second day, third day, to eat the best of it. But this is a man and Jesus turning it around. The first shall be the last. The last shall be the first. <laughs> That's the last teaching again. The first shall be the last. Those who began, hey, everything is well. Oh, we know Jesus. We are bubbling, bubbling. If you're not careful, you'll be the last. Praise God. Then that last food that came become the first. I pray for us that we carry that, that staying grace, staying power to the end. We shall partake in the last day's wine. The name of Jesus. Nobody will miss that wine carrying. The name of Jesus. That great reception in Jesus' precious name. Now let me show something quickly. Uh, Revelation 22 verse 17. I won't read too much scripture. 22 verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. Let him, let him that hear it say, come, let him that is, what is that? Attest. That tasty. Sorry, the way this is positioned to me, I'm going to put something over there and see. Maybe it'll be better. Amen. Attest. Those who are tasty, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. And that's the job of the spirit and the bride. I want to say something very quickly tonight. You see, the spirit of God is the one released for us for these last days. I was bearing for the wine carrying. I could use that word because so they can make it give a picture of what I'm saying. He's the one preparing us, preparing the bride. That's the job of the spirit of God. Don't like Esther was prepared by one man who told her the secrets of meeting the king. So for one good year, she told her, be rubbing this oil. Be rubbing it. Okay? I know this man, this king, I know him. What he likes most. This one I'm, this one I'm giving you. Be rubbing it. For one good year, when you finish rubbing it, go. Secrets. Secrets. There were many medias who came to compete for this thing. But one lady won the race but because someone told him, told her the technology or the, the how to go about it. Praise God. And she won the race. The same way that the spirit 
assigned to the bride. The spirit and the bride. The spirit and the bride. The spirit and the bride. That's why if you by any chance begin to miss the move of the spirit, you are in trouble. Because he's the one having the job to prepare the bride and present him to the day of joy. And I pray for us that the grace of God will be with us. That the Holy Ghost will be with us. Because he's the one to adorn us, he's the one to glorify us. He will give us glory for this terrestrial time and prepare that glory, what they call the latter glory, to come. It's his job. To glorify the church your net, the bread your net, and put him in a position to be faultless and also enjoy the latter glory. Because we have a glory vacation now and a glory to come. He's the one in charge, the spirit and the bride. Praise God. Say, come, let him that hear it say, come. Let him that is tasty come. No, no, we have to be tasty first of all for him to start working with you. You have to be a taste, tasty, hungry, hunger. That's why one of the ways to, to, to have a great impact in the ministry, in the church today, is to, to have hunger. Taste and hunger. If you don't have taste and hunger for the things of God, forget about it. And Bible tells us yet clearly that this thing is free. Life free. Come and drink. Nyafu, nyafu. Taste. Be hungry. Come and drink as much as you want. It's free. So why would someone begin to give life to Jesus when it's free? Take it off for now. How will you free? I'm going somewhere. In a few minutes, I will just so we can pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> give me Jeremiah 31, verse 12. Let me read Jeremiah first. Jeremiah verse 12. Maya, chapter 1, verse 12. Tali bragadosa la bragadosha. Therefore, they shall come and sing in the heights of Zion. They shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord for wheat and for wine and for oil. For wheat and for wine and for oil. For the young of the flock and of the head. Their soul shall be as watered, watered garden, and they shall not sorrow anymore at all. <laughs> shall live, They shall not sorrow anymore at all. When I saw that place at all, I said, eh? You know, sometimes scripture go too, 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 too much, too extreme. But when the Bible tells you, believe it. Praise God. You see, what we call sorrow on earth is the Bible causes a lot of affliction compared to the glory to come. But in the sight of God, there's no sorrow at all. But we are the ones in that sorrow. The Bible causes a light affliction. The Bible causes it for a moment. It causes the moment. Something momentary. Something that is as known is significant. If in the Testament, the Bible causes the moment. The Bible causes a lot of affliction. And heaven causes it no sorrow at all. So in the midst of all these things, the spirit and bride walk together to have a present glorification and they want to come. No sorrow. The Bible says something that touched me. It says, yeah, with wine and oil. These three things represent a very significant, powerful truth about the supper that's about to come. So, if you are expecting Gary and Akbo, sorry, what we're going to eat there is with wine and oil. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. No, sir. How do I you know? And Bible says, like, if you stick yourself to this wheat from wine at all, Bible says, your soul shall be as watered garden, and your soul, there shall be no sorrow at all. And that is the job of the spirit and the bride. The wheat, the wine, and the oil. That tells very clearly that the, the present day's glorification and the one to come, which is the best and the super one to come, Bible says, both here and the one to come, there shall be no sorrow. I prophesy for you that in, as you go through the sanctification period, there is glorification. Even though you go through sanctification and declare, no more sorrow for you. No more sorrow for you. No more sorrow for you. Because of justification, sorrow is over. Sorrow is over. 
Causes are over. Your soul shall be watered. In the name of Jesus. You will drink, you will eat with. You will drink wine. In the name of Jesus. The oil of God will rub you and give you that glorification. In the name of Jesus. We serve the true living God. Who the same yesterday, the same today, the same forevermore. If God has done it for many, it's your turn. That God that did it for Esther, she rub oil and rub oil. The king preferred her. That oil comes upon you. That oil comes upon you. Oil for favor. Oil for rescue. Oil for glorification. Comes upon you. That in days of Esther, the king would prefer you. The king would prefer you because you smell good. <laughs> you smell good. God will rob you with oil. In the name of Jesus. What is glorification? It's an act. When I read it, in, when I saw it in dictionary, I said, wow. An act of describing something in a way that makes it seem better or more important than it is really is. You know why I like this definition? <laughs> because of our own nature, as it really is. Can I take it off now? Take it off now. Thank you. The act of describing, I read it again, I read it again. The act of describing something in a way that it seems better <laughs> and more important than it is it that it really is. You know, I like this definition because ourselves before we got justified, we rotten, sh shattered, no hope. But once we got justified, we began to exhibit the righteousness of great Christ Jesus. Even as a then, if you look at the real nature of man, we are not what we're supposed to be. But thanks be to God for glorification. Thanks be to God for justification. Thanks be to God for sanctification. Thanks be to God for glorification. That we are glorified. Our nature, not really what it is, but because of the spirit of God, we are the bride of Christ. Hallelujah. We are the bride of Christ. That's what I call it, I call it glorification. So we are the present day glorification, which are called the, 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 the immediate glorification. We don't have the latter one. There's going to be glorification in the present time. And there will be latter one at the marriage of the supper. That's where we're heading. But presently, God will glorify us in diverse ways. Glory means honor. Glory means beauty. Glory means magnification. Am I communicating? Glory means be, being, when you are sound in body and health, so, sound in your spirit, sound in your mind, sound in your body. Glory means a glorious future, a powerful future. That's glory. Anything that represents majesty is glory. That's why I know that you know that God will put you will put in a situation whereby your life will know no sorrow. In the name of Jesus, your life will know no sorrow. Your life will know no pain. Your life will know no cause. In the name of Jesus. That is glorification. A state where you know no sorrow. You know no cause. You know no sorrow. You know no cause. Everything from your phone. No more struggle. No more struggle. No more struggle. Your life going seamless. Not because you are really what it is, but because you are justified. Because Holy Ghost is working in you and through you. I see you glorified. I see you glorified. Right to your next and to eternity. No more sorrow. Bible says no sorrow at all. I declare, receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Where there is no sorrow at all. Where there is no sorrow at all. Where there is no sorrow at all. Receive it. That is glorification. When a man is glorified, everything looks beautiful. But in ourselves, the way we were before, we are not qualified. But he made us qualified. And because of that, we are seeing beauty, seeing glory, seeing majesty. And Babu said, no sorrow at all. <laughs> Babu says again, on Zion, don't say I'm sick. That means when you're glorified, there's no sickness. Am I communicating? This is beauty and the glory we're expecting in our present time. As we, as we head towards the glory of the powerful one. Babu said, we'll be presented faultless. That means from here, you start practicing faultlessness. <laughs> Am I communicating? It's a, it's a practice. From here, Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God will prepare you to be faultless from here to meet him. That means in your body you are faultless. In your spirit you are faultless. In your soul you are faultless. In your ways you are faultless. Am I communicating? Glorification. Shall glorification 
Ah, may God glorify you. Right your net, may you be glorified. May, his, may you see his beauty, his honor, his majesty. No more sorrow, no more cause, no more sickness. In the name of Jesus, I see you glorified. I see you glorified. I see you glorified. Not when we get there now. <laughs> That's why I love Jesus. He told Martha, I said, Martha, don't worry. I'm not all about to come and say, now. Nah. Now. Nah. He said, I'm the resurrection of life. Now. Nah. See, over time we talk about liberation, we say, okay, we know when we get there. No. Jesus said, now. Now. You start experiencing now. As a preparation towards a lot bigger one. Do you know how, how, how bride prepares before the wedding day? Ah. So much we are going to wedding now. Maybe many, maybe months or months or months, whatever. Before then, we are so. Oh my God! Ooh la la! Ooh! I see that's nothing like us anymore. We are just joyful. Yeah, everywhere preparation. Have you done this? Have you done that? You see joy everywhere. That's how it is supposed to be before the proper supper. Joy everywhere, like a some a lady, a bride preparing for the wedding. Am I communicating? Some of you are married, you know what I'm saying? Say, that kind of joy you feel. Some of you must have been having a kind of dream about wedding. How you want the wedding to look, they have to carry the wine, you'll be imagining how I'm going to carry wine and cover it, I'll be dancing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll be imagining it in your, heart, in your spirit, in your mind. You can't wait. That is to come. That is how it is now for the church. Am I communicating? That's how it is. As to pray forward towards the real day. So there is immediate glorification and they want to come. That's why I know very well that this joy you are having now will never cease. <laughs> will never cease. This joy will never cease. Because there is a present day glorification. As we go towards the latter one, that's a major present day glorification. Present day reality. Present day experience glorification. Before we get there, a life of beauty, a life of honor, a life of majesty, a life free from sorrow, free from cause. Then, then, receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. No more sorrow. No more cause. No more difficulties on your way. If there be anyone your way, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Ghost, if there be any sorrow your way, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, you are free. You are free. Whoever the Son of Man has made free, free. This glorification. When you partake of his person, he your net, and then meet him again on the last day. It's a continual glorification. If you can picture the way a bride feels before the day of wedding, picture it. That is the state of a church prepared to be the master. I don't know how to describe it, but also, that's the best to describe it. it. It's a moment of joy. It could take you more to pray. You would need that much. You are so full of joy. Joy everywhere. Waiting for that day. That is it of the church. Right now. Before he comes. So, if that bugger called devil is mesmerizing your life and not make you feel the taste, the foretaste of what is to come, that devil is an idiot. Am I communicating? That must be a foretaste of that which is to come. That's why Jesus gave us the scenario of marriage at Kenna. How the wine was done. The beauty. Wine represents joy. One represents the spirit of God. The oil, the grain, the, the, the wheat, and the, and the wine. And the three things. Oil comes to your life to make life cooler. You know how you... you no, know, you, you, you can have vehicle and engine all you can. Make it chassis, make it whatever you want to call it. Of, um, whatever, make it Mercedes Benz chassis, whatever you can call it. Whatever. Lamborghini, Ferrari, you know, whatever. But put engine as you like. Don't put oil and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> try it and see. I think you. I thought you had brain. Try, try it and see. That's what happened. But as powerful as those chances are, oil must go inside to lubricate it, to make it easy. The same way, in the spirit, we are supposed to carry oil in our spirit, in our body, to make our journey towards the meeting the master very free, free. Say, come, it's free, free. Your parts are free. Your ways are free. A seamless life. I'm not communicating. That joy. Anytime you picture, picture that joy, the state of joy of a bride before the wedding day. That's what, that's what I'm trying to present. That's what I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to present. I'm not communicating. Just always figure it out. Picture it. 
That is how it's supposed to be for you now. Before the day. So that means there is a present day glorification. Present day joy. I've never seen a woman preparing for wedding. And you see, I mean, let's say a week or two weeks before them. Like this. <laughs> I don't know. In fact, you, you have not attended a wedding again. You've already presented sorrow. So I don't want part of the sorrow. <laughs> I don't say woman, woman. If you see anyone, please let me know. I'm not a typical woman preparing for the wedding day. She's everywhere. Joy. Everywhere. Calling his friends. Help me this. Set up committee. Everything. Demand to do the same thing. Joy. That is the state of the church now. Joy everywhere. It's called glorification of the present time. As we made it later on. But I pray for us that we're going to taste this thing now. If you don't taste now, we'll taste it there. You taste it now. Am I communicating? After now, everything that has brought you sorrow, that brought you sorrow, brought you sorrow, is hereby destroyed. 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 Is this sickness that brought you sorrow? That sickness is gone now. That sickness is gone now. Is it pain that brought you sorrow? That pain is destroyed now. Whatever brought you sorrow, is it your children? That devil afflicting your children is here by cost. That devil is here by cost. Anything that will bring you that sorrow, that thing is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. That will say there shall be no sorrow at all. Glorification. Glorification. If you cannot picture a woman going to a wedding, sorrowful, towards the time of wedding, then just know we can picture yourself sorrowful towards meeting your master. It's a moment of glorification. Am I making sense? Praise the Lord. Am I communicating? <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me read a place for us. Give me Romans chapter 8. After that, I'm going to pray. I told you it's very vast. I can't finish it. Let me give you one scripture. Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to 30. From there we, there we can close. We can pray and close. Amen. And we know, pay attention, that all things... No, I said 26. Did I say 28? Romans 8, 26. Let's start from 26, please. So that we can, we can suck the Jews very well. Amen. Give me from 26. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. We have already seen that we need the wheat, we need the wine, we need the oil. And those things represent glorification. We have plenty to eat with his wheat, plenty wine to drink and dance and be joyful, then oil to make our path very free. <laughs> These theory metaphors are powerful, preparing the church for the last day glorification. And my communication. Unless I'm prepared, orchestrated by the Spirit of the Lord. You see, the Spirit of God, capital one. We saw the bride, Spirit and the bride, the capital S. This one again, capital S. So, Holy Ghost is in charge, preparing the bride now for the present day glorification and the one to come. Bible says here, likewise, the Spirit helps our infirmity. Our infirmity. God knew that the bride would go through certain things. Infirmity means weaknesses. Weakness of the, of the flesh, weakness of the spirit, whatever it is, of life, of finance, the, you know, the weariness of life, weakness of all kinds. But God released the Holy Ghost to be the one in charge of the bride. This God is too much. <laughs> this is too much. Like a best man who is to help the, the, the marriage group, the marriage group, to pray the bride. It's like a best man. He does all he can to represent the groom, also come to make sure the bride is doing well. And help us infirmity. If there's anything we are going through, Holy Ghost is there to take it out and give us present day glorification, prepare us with joy and honor to meet the master. And for we know, for we for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be altered. See the spirit of God. I'm saying it because we read about the spirit and the pride, the spirit and the bride. You can see what he's doing here. So the job is present continuous. Job present continuous. Spirit of God, his job to help, to help the bride. Help the bride. And he also prays for the bride, intercedes for the bride. So the bride, 
will not have spot or wrinkle. The bride will fall free from infirmities, blemish as he goes on his way to meet the master. The Holy Ghost is very powerful, pivotal in our journey towards a latter day glorification. Powerful. <laughs> and, and, and not that we, we, for some people we grow knees. We cannot, under, we cannot alter, we cannot be altered. So when a man grows, I'm not talking about growing maybe in the future. When a man grows, it's powerful. It's deeper than what you think. Groanings from the inside. <laughs> you see, no groaning. It's a result of intimacy that brings the glory. Groaning. Intimacy. 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 Oh, let me leave over that. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> uh, to, 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 give me 26. Give me 26. Give me 26. Oh, okay, 27, sorry. See, I'm hungry already. <laughs> and he that searched the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because he make an intercession for saints according to the will of God. Go, go again. So he touched the heart of the... Um, that's where I'm going. And we know that all things work together for good for those that love the Lord for them that are called according to his purpose. So we are called according to, we are called according to his purpose. Next one, 29. Amen. For whom he did for no, he also did predestinate to be, conf to, to be conformed to the image of his son. So we're heading towards conformity. Be, we're changed, become like him. And so that he might be the firstborn among the many brethren. And we to first take, go and take the first stage. That's what I'm going finally. More so, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. Watch that. And whom he called, he also justified. And whom he justified, he also glorified. That's what I'm going. This is the process. He also glorified. So it's the job of the Holy Ghost to bring God's glorification at the present time and the world to come, and the time to come. Yes, so glorified. So, the question is that, are you predestinated? Yes, that's why you're here. Are you called? Yes, that's why you're here. Are we justified? Yes, that's why you can even call Jesus. Praise God. And if you're justified, therefore, his job is to eventually make you glorified. How am I communicating? The spirit and the bride. The one motivated me to go through it because of the spirit and the bride. That means the job of the spirit is so enormous towards the bride. The Holy Ghost is, pre, is, is the bride is being committed to the hands of the Spirit to take care of him, to prepare him and adorn him. I don't go to Revelation because my time is up. To prepare the bride and adorn him. Present time adornment and the world to come adornment. And the time to come adornment at the supper. That is the job of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, do it again. Take it, take it off now. Do it again. Himala. I open my eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again. Jump on your feet, jump on your feet. I'm on the rescue. The spirit entrusted with the church, with the bride, Kalabosha, 
Holy Ghost, make me beautiful. Oh, brother, I pray that prayer. Holy Ghost, make my life beautiful. Your job is to make the bride beautiful and present her to Christ. Make me beautiful. Make my life beautiful. Make my path beautiful. Let my path fall upon pleasant places. Let my path fall upon pleasant places. Holy Ghost, you are in charge of the bride. You are in charge of the bride. You are in charge of the bride. Here on earth, glorify the bride. Glorify the bride, beautify the bride, beautify the bride, the spirit and 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 the bride, glorify the bride, beautify the bride, la 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 Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Friends, the master put the church, the bride, to the hands of the Holy Ghost. And asked the Holy Ghost to take care of the, of the bride, the spirit and the bride. That's why you see that conjunction the spirit and the bride, the spirit and the bride. It's in, it can, it's inseparable. Am I complicated? Inseparable. He has been charged to take on the bride, to glorify the bride, beautify the bride, cleanse the bride, and prepare the bride for later glory. For the glory of now, the beauty of one trying to go to wedding, that joy, to put on that state of joy. <laughs> that means everything about your life uh, should go beautifully. Should go beautifully. Should go seamless. Uh, should go sick free. Should go sorrow free. Should go devil free. Ah, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare your life is free. Amen. You own no one. Amen. You own no one. By the power of the Holy Ghost, oh. you are free. Amen. Free from sickness. Amen. Free from disease. Amen. Free from powers of darkness. Amen. Free, free from sorrow. Yes, free from cause. Amen. That is the job of the Holy Ghost yes, and the bride. Yes, oh, but I'm praying. Yes, Devil you cannot stop me. Devil you cannot harm me. You can't bring me down. The spirit and the bride. The spirit and the bride. The spirit and the bride. Le bragadosa katalaya. Le brekete leva. Mayan. 
Zolo Bragada, Ze Bracato Sakata, Le Bracato Sakata, Le Bracate Le Bragato, Ze Bracato. We are in for glorification. We are in for glorification. We are in for glorification. We are in for beauty. A life of beauty. A life of glory. A life without sorrow. A life without cause. That is glorification. Oh God, glorify me. Holy Ghost, glorify me on earth. Make my life beautiful. Make my life glorious. Make my life powerful. Take my body and deliver me from sickness and from disease. Let me live a sick free life. Le brakato saba. A devil free life. Which God free life. Le brakato saba. A life without harm. A life without sorrow. A life full of joy. A life full of joy. A life full of glorification. No more sorrow. No more sorrow. No more sorrow. No more sorrow. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know the, any kind of infirmity you are going through. Whatever infirmity it is you are going through, the Holy Ghost is poised to deliver you from it. Bible says it's supposed to intercede, go between, and tell your God, hey, your God, this, your bride needs something. <laughs> I told you, see us as a few days or a few weeks before the wedding. That's the state we are. We are. Sanctification alongside. You know, that kind of a thing. So, see that way, that if the bride lacks something in preparation, he will ask Oga. The, 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 the intercessor, the best man will ask Oga, Oga, your bride needs something. Am I, that's why he tells the seed. That's why you know from today, everything you need for life and godliness. Receive it now! 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 In the name of Jesus, everything you need for life and godliness, by the reason of the Holy Ghost intercession, take it now! Take it now! Take it now! Take it now! No more sorrow, no more cause, no more hunger, beauty everywhere, oil everywhere, wine everywhere, food everywhere, plenty everywhere. Receive plenty, receive plenty, receive plenty. No more lack, no more lack, no more hardship, no more difficulty. The oil is there to take care of it. The wheat is to give you plenty. The wine is the move of the Holy Ghost. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, your people have gone through three days right fast. And I told them, oh God, that they will carry some two hours miracle. Father, at this moment, I see the miracle happening. Amen. I see the signs taking place. Amen. I see miracle taking place. Amen. I see the Holy Ghost in charge. Amen. Holy Ghost in charge of the bride. Amen. I see him making sure things are working together for good. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you live here, you are living here glorified. Amen. You are living here healed. Amen. You are living here delivered. Amen. You are living here restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive your miracles. Amen. Receive your miracles. Receive your miracles. Receive your miracles. In the name of Jesus. Those of you on YouTube, Facebook, take your miracles. Take your miracles. In the name of Jesus. Seven two hours miracle. I am a malabo shaba. Those of you that have your prayer petition, please bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Azu break it, Mama. Three days. Three days prayer petition. Zo break it, delegadoza. Mali break it, delegadoza. My bring me bring me the this in here. So break it the So bring see this involved? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, when we come, we come to that. Just just I want just a petition for now. Come and provide it. So break it the labalaya. So bragado secretele bragadosha. Mali brega de le babalaba. Please bring me oil. Bring me oil behind. Le brega de le bragado sakata. Ze brega de le bragado sakata. Je brega do sakata la bragade. Hele brega do sakata la bragade. Hele mabalaga do sakete leba. Mayanda la braga do sakete mamaya. Le brega do sakata la bapa. Le brega do sakata li bragade. Hele brega do sakata la baya. Mali brega de le gade mamalaya. Mala braga do zegede mamaya. Hele brega do zegede mamaya. Jesus. Father, I come before you again tonight. I've told us, I told them, 
any time we do three days, we should bring petitions. Father, we cannot go through three days and live the same. We cannot. We can afford it. The world is full of wolves. Troubles is there here. Everything, everything that want to mitigate against us, against our smooth journey. Father, you gave us wheat, gave us wine, gave us oil. But the orchestration of the Holy Ghost prepare us for the present day glorification and the one to come. But I pray by the reason of this oil, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the part of everyone whose patient is here and those who are here present and those who are outside here who could not bring the ears, those who are with us now listening, hearing this prayer, those under the voice of this prayer, and they stretch their hands, please stretch your hands over here, and they stretch their hands to their phone. Those who are here stretching their hands, Father, I join my faith with them and I declare, but anointing the Holy Ghost, every sorrow, every sorrow that has disturbed us, worked against us, for this long is hereby destroyed. Every pain that has disturbed us for this number of days or years or months is hereby destroyed. Every sickness that has perturbed us is hereby destroyed. Every witchcraft manipulation against our lives are hereby destroyed. Everything that made our life not to go smooth today is hereby destroyed. Everything has brought us shame of disgrace is here by consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost oh God we cannot come this far and go empty and go empty I have told them of 72 hours miracle give unto them everyone here whose pressure is here those hands are stretched over here those who are over there through the computer to wherever they are listening to us as they stretch their hands let them partake from this anointing. The name of Jesus. I hereby declare everyone. Your life is hereby free from sorrow. From sorrow. From pain. From disease. From accident. From death. In the name of God the Father. The name of God the Son. The name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Just give him praise, give him praise. Three days, three days of miracles, three days of signs and wonders, three days of signs. Give him praise, give him praise. It is done. We call it 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 down. 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 Thank you. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Lord. Be exalted and be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.